United States, public education uh, up through the 50s, certainly, um, you know, better part of the 60s, too, uh, learning meant rote learning uh, most of the time, you know, memorizing facts, memorizing dates, figures, uh, in order to then take a test and demonstrate that you remember them. Uh, developing young people's potential to think creatively and critically uh, wasn't wasn't part of the curriculum. wasn't on the syllabus. Uh, that that happened. You know, if you're lucky in high school uh, and then in college. When you know Bloom came along and published his work, including uh, his taxonomies of educational objectives, the pyramids. Um, a lot of people were really excited. Like you know, finally, of course, yes, we you know we know our children. We know what they're capable of. Um, let's not you know, uh, underestimate what they can do and let's not fear what they can do. So here we have Bloom's taxonomy for thinking. Um, this is one of his taxonomies of educational objectives, the cognitive taxonomy. And we have a hierarchical structure here, a pyramid, where the base is knowledge and the recall of knowledge. And moving up here to comprehension, which is understanding that knowledge that you could previously recall. And then here to applying the knowledge. So first you uh, acquire it, then you understand it, and then you're able to um, use it in new situations. That's application. Uh, next, uh, analysis. Being able to think more critically about uh, the knowledge and um, analyzing what you've learned. Then to put the thoughts, uh, the information, the knowledge together more creatively, synthesizing it. So this is synthesis. And finally, at the top of the pyramid, we have evaluation, where you're able to judge uh, and evaluate uh, what you've learned and the ways that you've understood it and applied it and analyzed it and synthesized it.